there's a lot of good teams out there. Binghamton certainly being one of them. Um, you know, that's a team. They return a lot of players from a great season a, a year ago. Um, and uh, looked like they had most of their guys healthy, you know, uh, in this game. Some guys who maybe weren't healthy in uh, some of the earlier games. I give those guys a lot of credit. You know, Binghamton came out, played really hard. You know, their faceoff guy and their goalie were, uh, you know, big factors early in the game. And, you know, we had to make some adjustments. Um, you know, to their credit, they, they were real. They, they made plays. They, you know, out, I think they ended up outground balling us in the game. You know, a little disappointed with that. But, um, you know, it is, it's not easy to win Division One lacrosse games. So, you know, we're, we're happy with the win. And, um, and again, we, you know, going into it, we knew this team was going to provide us uh, quite a bit of resistance. So, um, so I'm happy the way that the guys responded. There's lessons to learn every time you take the field. So, um, you know, as much as we have a veteran group, we're still learning and, you know, we're a little different this year. So there's always, you know, new lessons to, to learn. So um, congrats to Binghamton for playing a great game and uh, really happy with the way the guys, you know, uh, responded with some adjustments that we made in game. Um, and then we were able to, you know, to really uh, um, just press the issue and, and play our brand of lacrosse. Well, my next question speak to, to the adjustments because I think you outscore them like 8-2, 8-3 in the third quarter and kind of put the game under wraps. Um, yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, Anthony DiCenzo came in and did a great job at the faceoff dot. Um, you know, I was really happy there. Um, you know, we've got a great unit there. Coach Archbell is doing, doing a great job with those guys. All three of those guys are always ready. Um, so, you know, credit to, you know, to that group. Um, and, you know, Anthony, his number got called and he went out and, you know, he, uh, he made a couple plays. Um, and, uh, and then he started winning the clamp on some and, uh, really was great, you know, getting the ball off the ground and getting it to us um, offensively. So, you know, that was one adjustment. Um, the other, was, you know, was just uh, kind of our, our shooting conversation. You know, I felt like uh, we didn't respect the goalie enough early, um, and uh, which was shame on us because he's very good. Uh, we knew that coming in. So um, we gave him a lot more respect later um, as it related to our shot selection. And, um, you know, we were able to, to generate some more open looks versus taking, you know, the first look we had. Shot selection, Luke Graham today, seven goals on 11 shots. Uh, got most of them right in front of the middle. It almost looked like basketball high, low post offense. <laughs> Talk about Luke staying, getting those seven goals in front of the goal. Yeah, um, you know, Luke's, Luke was the, the you know, beneficiary of a, of a lot of, you know, unselfish play by the offense. Um, he just, he did his job. You know, um, his job is to win his matchup off the ball. Uh, he was able to do that today. Um, some guys were able to, you know, to win their matchup on the ball. And um, again, Lucas, he's a really, you know, high IQ player, um, really fundamental, um, you know, really trustworthy, um, sometimes like having a coach on the field. So um, he did a great job. Yeah, really, really happy for Luke. All right. Next week, you go into the two game week, a little bit different. You've been playing one a week for a while. Just talk to me about that. Um, certainly got a lot of respect for, for UMBC here coming up on Friday. Um, you know, these will be really our first road, you know, tests, you know, coming up. Um, you know, not only is it a road game, you know, on a Friday, you know, afternoon, but it's a really high quality opponent um, that we've got a lot of respect for. Um, you know, they got great players and, and, and they're very well coached and we really haven't been on the road yet. So um, we've got to, you know, keep getting better. You know, we got to make sure we're really focused um, this week and, you know, take it one day at a time here. Yeah, no doubt. I think uh, I think we we weren't really ready to play early. We had uh, a couple of penalties and uh, we weren't great on ground balls. But I think uh, there's some, there's a lesson to be learned from a team sticking with you. And we come down, we're down four one, and then close at halftime. And and having games like that is is more beneficial than just blowing a team out from the start. So that was kind of my next question. I mean. Most people think you come in, you know, you win 19 to four or whatever, but having a little adversity and making you change personnel and strategy, there's something to be said for that. Definitely. I think uh, I can think back to moments like uh, the Maryland game and the UVA game when we're, when we have, uh, we're tight in the fourth quarter, and it's, it's moments like that where today we, we can learn and, and get better at, with it being a close game early. Seven goals today on 11 shots. Best day in lacrosse career for Luke Graham. 
Uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe, uh, maybe a couple high school games where uh, there wasn't as much resistance, but uh, yeah, it was a fun day for sure. Talk about your goals. A lot of them in the middle. Maybe to use basketball terms, a little high-low post. Yeah. Uh, a couple in front of the crease. Just talk about how you were able to get such freedom in in front of the goal. I think it starts with uh, our dodging. We put an emphasis on uh, winning your matchup and dodging the score. And me just being a crease guy, having guys like Dalton, Dalton Young, Aiden O'Neill, Lance Madonna, like playing with their head up. Like I, I can't do anything without those guys. And along those lines, having all those guys able to score diversifies the attack, makes it tougher on teams to figure out where the goals are coming from. Definitely. Yeah, we have a lot of guys this year. Uh, Last year, we might not have had as much depth, but like you could see in the in the second half, we're rotating Jack Ricciardi, number 16, in with the other attackmen. So that's just uh, goes to show the type of depth that we have on the offensive end. Okay, talk to me about this team now. Where are you right now? Uh, you've got another couple of goals, then you get the big two. Uh, tell me how this team is performing, not quite at the halfway point, but getting there. Uh, I, I think we've had a uh, pretty good start um, to our season. Obviously, we wish uh, we could have uh, the ending of those uh, Maryland and UVA games back, but uh, I think we're excited for the stretch we have up. We got uh, a game Friday against UMBC, and then we uh, go up to Bucknell on Tuesday. So uh, hopefully we can take care of business with those two.